Let us see our next interesting question. One pipe can fill a tank three times as fast as the other pipe. If together the two pipes can fill the tank in 36 minutes, then the slower pipe alone will be able to fill the tank in how much minutes? That is what we have to find. Our options are given as 81 minutes, 108 minutes, 144 minutes and 192 minutes. Let us see how to solve this. So the logic applied is a tank will fill in the time x minutes using a slow pipe and the tank will take x by 3 minutes that is one third of the slower pipe to fill the tank with a faster pipe because it is fast hence it takes only less amount of time. We have to find how much time it takes for the slower pipe alone to fill the tank and we are given the two pipes can fill the tank in 36 minutes. So time for the slower pipe to fill the tank in one minute plus time taken by the faster pipe to fill in one minute should be added to get the time taken by both the pipes to fill in one minute and equated to 36. Using this you can find the time taken by the slower pipe. Let us see how to apply this logic in order to solve the sum. It is given that your first pipe fills the tank at y speed then your second pipe will fill the tank three times fast that is 3y. The slower pipe alone can fill the tank in x minutes. Then the faster pipe will take even lesser time that is x by 3 minutes because it is 3 times faster. So the time for both the pipes to fill the tank in 1 minute will be equal to time taken by the slower pipe to fill the tank in 1 minute that is in 1 minute it can fill 1 by x part. Similarly the time taken for the faster pipe to fill the tank in 1 minute will be 3 by x. And it is given that the two pipes together can fill in 36 minutes. So that means the time for both the pipes to fill in 1 minute will be 1 by 36 because it takes 36 minutes on the whole. So for 1 minute it will fill 1 by 36 parts. Summing it up you get 4 by x is equal to 1 by 36 which means on cross multiplication x is equal to 4 into 36 that is 144 minutes. Hence the slower pipe alone that is the time taken by the slower pipe to fill the tank is x minutes hence our x value is 144 minutes. So the time taken by the slower pipe alone to fill the tank will be 144 minutes. Hence our answer is option C. These pattern of questions appear in RI, RBI, Inotex and GATE exams. Let us move on to our next interesting question. The pipes A and B can fill the tank in 5 and 6 hours respectively. Pipe C can empty it in 12 hours. So we have to find that how much time the tank will be filled in if all the three pipes are open together. 
Our options are over here as Let us see the logic behind solving the sum. It is given that your first pipe can fill in 5 hours. So, in 1 hour, it can fill 1 by 5. And your second pipe can fill the tank in 6 hours. So, in 1 hour, it can fill 1 by 6. Whereas your third pipe can empty the tank in 12 hours. So in 1 hour, it can empty it 1 by 12 parts. So the condition is that all the three pipes are open together. So as A and B is filling, C will be draining it. So how much time will the three pipes take to fill the tank? completely so time taken to fill the tank will be time taken by a and b to fill it minus time taken by c to empty it let us see how to apply this logic in order to solve the sum so it is given that a fills the tank in 1 by 5 that is 5 hours so in 1 hour it will fill 1 by 5 and in 1 hour B will fill 1 by 6 and in 1 hour C can empty it in 1 by 12 parts so the net water filled is nothing but water filled by A in 1 hour plus water filled by B in 1 hour minus the water emptied by C in 1 hour so that is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 12. Taking LCM, you get 60. Solving it, you have 17 by 60. Therefore, the tank will fill in 60 by 17 hours. So, that is nothing but 3, 9 by 17 hours. Converting it into Hours. So these pattern of questions appear in IBPS CAT exams.